hey, I know this is gonna sound crazy, I really wanna make a beer using this crazy long leaf pine. Do you think that's possible? Can we like spare some needles? And then one thing led to another and I'm on a gator with Bobby Klontz and the little babies and Jen are with me and we're barreling through the Piney Grove Preserve and looking at woodpeckers and uh, it was a magical experience. And the cool thing was bringing it all back here, getting to use the ingredients and having the beer turn out even better than I could have hoped for it. There were a lot of firsts in that, in that first interaction with Piney Grove Preserve and with Bobby and the crew down there, uh, but magic is the only way that I can describe it. I've never seen a forest feel so natural. So Pine Inn Beer, there are a few breweries that I have found that have done um, similar sorts of things, whether it's with pine um, or cedar or juniper or something along those lines. Using pine seems like it'd be crazy until you say, but what's the flavor profile of longleaf pine? Like is it is it straight pine? Is it is it sweet kind of autumnal Yankee candle pine? Is it grapefruit citrus pithy pine? And then once you get the flavor profile down, the aromatic profile down, then you can start to figure out like, well, I can just season this kind of beer with a little bit of this kind of ingredient and we can end up with a composed sip that tastes and smells the way we want it to. So we treat the, the long leaf needle uh, leaf material just like we would a really beautiful hop material. We load that whirlpool just off the boil with a whole bunch of pine needle material, let it steep for 10, 15 minutes. And then because of the uniqueness of our system, we're actually able to pull all that back out. We get great, almost fruity, grapefruity notes from those long leaf needles uh, at the end of the boil. So it's really cool to see how one plant, like so many other ingredients in the world, if you treat the different parts of the plant different ways, you get to really layer the whole thing together and experience it in a holistic way. I think that when people come here, they get to taste where they are and why they came here in the first place. The more that I feel like local craft breweries can make local beer, um, the better the whole planet's gonna be because I can't wait to go to Arizona and know that I'm tasting a beer from the Arizona wilderness. I can't wait to go to Raleigh, Durham and know that I'm tasting beer that represents the agriculture and forests of Central North Carolina. The more that our beers can reflect where they come from, the better people will be and the better planet will have.